that explosion goes off, everyone in that room would yeah. be bleeding from the ears. Oh, oh f wow. So we're gonna be watching some scenarios from Rainbow Six Siege. Let's do this. Nice bass, right. that was good. Is that better? That was good, yeah, like, it was almost like you're a man. Knife hand, let's do this. There you go. I want one of these like right now, for, oh. like my house. I would f with my roommates with that. With <laughs> your dog. It'd be really cool if you could detonate too. Real world, that explosion goes off. One, it would rock him, but everyone in that room would be, be yeah. like, bleeding from the ears, like probably unconscious with that big of a charge. Just imagine a little firecracker inside of a coffee can. It's not in the open, so it's contained. So it's, it's reverberating off of couches, the walls, and it's coming back to you like 20 different times in a nanosecond. Flashbangs, no joke. We're using nine bangers, which are nine of the same explosions. Boom, boom, nine times. It will f you up. And if, it, shooting, hopefully. if it goes into a corner or goes in under something, it's not meant to be a explosive that causes shrapnel, but <laughs> it still will. Oh, oh wow, that's kind of so yeah, interesting. Yeah, you could, you could do this in this game. You could go through the walls. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, there you go. See? So we're talking a little oh, yeah. UAS. That's, that's, that's real legit. world. That, not so much. Do you either do kick this. it or you carry separate tools for I think that. It's you don't, you, yeah. <laughs> So, that would hurt. from a, a rescue standpoint, going off the side of the building, it can be done, but there's all sorts of prep that goes into it. They're in a harness, again, you're in a harness, you have a belay system set up, there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on. It's not three seconds. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, if you had to go out that window and it was like one floor up, like, just kick the dude out. <laughs> Breaks his ankle, like, whatever, but just, you want to get out of the situation, so. Yeah. Poor guy, he looks so innocent. <laughs> Save me. Boom! <laughs> Pistol again. What do you think the distance on that was? Uh, 100, 100. <laughs> With one hand? I think the hostage is with him. Maybe that's why they're doing it. It's but still, uh, yeah, a one arm shot at 100 meters. I mean, that's <laughs> not pretty, gonna happen. Pretty I fired at a 100 meter target, and my pistol is up here. And to get that round to arc back down and actually hit the target, you this yeah. straight on at 100 meters is never gonna happen. You're gonna be shooting in the dirt. Looks a little bit like the Iranian embassy. I know they uh, say it looks very government. But there's like X's on the doors too. Like if you're doing a room clearing and it's a larger facility, you'll mark rooms some way, either throw in a chem light or mark the door or mark the wall to say that it's already been cleared. Yep. Doesn't mean that nobody's back in there, but it means it's already been cleared once. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> Batman style. What is this? I don't know, it looks fun. Oh, it's a breach. I've never seen anything like that. Ooh. What? Ooh. So he would break his ankles right there. Yeah. He's so well, the amount gear. of gear that he has on, yeah. Guy decided I'm gonna wear snow camouflage inside. So that's supposed to be like a cutting breach. That's kind of weird. Explosives have a couple different types. You have ones that cut. It, it depends on what is the speed of the actual explosion. And you can do different things like tamp them where you're putting, they'll have like water or different sheeting and stuff that they'll put over it to kind of control the explosion. And that's kind of what they're trying to simulate here. They always teach us ride the breach. So a breach goes off, you fall, you ride that wave, that explosion, because it disrupts everyone. And it dissipates as it goes through room to room. If each one of those rows is supposed to be a brick of C4, a brick of C4 like Jason a, said, that entire side bomb. of the building would be gone. Like that will rock you. Yeah, so. the shooting inside is insanely loud. Yeah, and you feel the vibrations just from rounds. Every single round that you shoot is right next to your head, and over time, every bullet is a concussion right next to your face. And not just a couple days of training, but years of yeah. combat, After years that, of training. Was there a little UK, uh... There was a little flag on that. What the hell was that? Did you just blow some, up again? Yeah, some of these effects are a little weird. I'm not quite sure what they've got going on. I do love the bullets coming through the wall, though. Well, and, and then yeah, you got that hostage amazing. right there. You are definitely not going to be shooting right into the room when you can see that guy. You're there for that person. Why would you do that? Comes in and he's hitting walls and stuff like that with his uh, yeah. the butt of his rifle. But you really don't want to do that. The butt struck. Oh, there, there was. I think that anything hard is gonna. There he goes. Watch. Up your gun. Like, up the oh. aiming point of your your optic. 
When you get up to any kind of concertina wire, you're suddenly the slowest, most careful in the world yeah. because you're like gloves. You're like, uh, it's, it's so sharp. There's a mechanical breach right there, guys. Just using a sledge. There you go. It's a colorful sledge. Yeah. Wait, wait, there's a little trinket on that. You see that? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, look at that. I like that. He's like, it's like uh. Like a lion chick on no. the dash. Have you guys I, ever used one of these shields? I've never used one. I've seen them. I would yes, never you know. want to do Have you used them? No. I mean, I could see it being useful. I mean, I can, but yeah. you're now with a pistol holding something heavy. Even if it's not penetrating through that shield, just the kinetic force of that round hitting that. What the hell does that thing weigh, too? I mean, he's just transitioning, shooting over it. Oh, God. Oh, he jumped with it, too. He got hurt a little bit. There's the bobblehead going. Cute. I don't even use the word cute, but they're really cute. You say that a lot. But it's not. You're cute. Sorry, we're off topic here. I like the realism in the sense of bullet travel, you know, the destructive capabilities of the walls and stuff like that. Yeah, a few aspects, but a little less realistic than some of the other ones. Yeah, gigantic. Magical wall repel things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a gameologist, click down here to subscribe. Sounds easy, right? See you next time. Bye!